Good morning and thank you for choosing NYNJPA weather for your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. Well, the area low pressure that has been producing overcast skies and scattered showers for the past several days is finally exiting. A cold front that is currently over the eastern Great Lakes and Ohio Valley will move through without much fanfare, but it will produce clearing skies once the cold front exits. The high pressure system that is currently over the western Great Lakes will move towards the northern mid-Atlantic by this weekend with clearing skies and generally great weather conditions through the weekend and all the way through next week with temperatures rebounding into the 80s and eventually lower 90s throughout the entire northern mid-Atlantic summer-like conditions will return after a brief period of fall-like conditions this past week as for the tropical Atlantic well, there's a lot of action going on there the main story this morning in the tropics is obviously Hurricane Danielle Hurricane Danielle continues to strengthen at 105 mile per hour winds. It's moving to the northwest. Now, Danielle, I expect to eventually turn north, but before it does so, it should get a little bit closer to the east coast. As far as impacts for the northern Atlantic, right now I'm thinking that by the start of next week through the middle of next week, we should see an increase in swells along the coastal waters and also a higher potential for riptides. Right now, I think that Danielle remains to the east of the northern mid-Atlantic coastal waters, but should still be watched as any change in the strength of the trough that's picking up Hurricane Danielle could mean that Danielle is able to move a little bit closer to the coast. This hurt the, the tropical storm behind Danielle, oh, that's going to be something to watch. That's Tropical Storm Earl, which is also becoming better organized. Earl was going to be able to move a little bit further to the west. And considering the upper level pattern ahead of it, there really won't be much of an inhibiting factor to not allow it to intensify and become a hurricane and possibly a strong one at that. So Earl's going to be something to watch for by next week, especially towards the end of next week. Well, that is your weather news for the northern Atlantic. Thank you for choosing NYNJPA Weather for your weather source. Have an excellent day.